her sixth start for Toronto, playing all but two periods. She's one and four, making 19 saves on 22 shots last game. But meanwhile, Montreal is sticking with its all-star, Anne-Renée Debian. She's two, one and one so far, heading into her fifth start of the season. Yeah, and I mean, come on, we've got original six here in terms of the NHL. We got the Leafs, the Habs, and why not PWHL Toronto versus PWHL Montreal. I'm excited for this rivalry. <laughs> Soroya Tinker joining me, Daniela Ponticelli, inside the broadcast booth for this game. And head coach, Montreal's head coach, Corey Sheffrey, feeling pretty good after that home win on Tuesday night. Montreal, the first ever Canadian PWHL team to win at home, although they have not won Soroya inside Verdun, and they're looking to change that today. Just one week since their thrilling home opener ended in overtime. Poulin at center, battling for the puck, wins it. She's sitting at over 50% on the faceoff, so that'll do as Mariah Keppel feeds it up down deep into the Toronto zone. It'll be batted out just as quick or Tried to by LaRock and Connors. Fast looking to protect, but here's a chance. Maury Murphy coming in hot. The defense by LaRock to stop that effort. Into the near side. Toronto trying to poke the puck forward as Connors does just that, gets it out of the zone. But Captain Boulin with some speed now. She'll take the same way that Maury Murphy did. Rim it around, though. Other side, there's Laura Stacy. She's got the most shots on goal for Montreal so far. And she's played one less game. Spooner now for Toronto feeds it over. And there's our first big physical play of the game. We love to see those hits. Yeah, Malte tries to get that off, but far side now. Toronto in the Montreal zone. They were able to score first and on the board first in that home game against Boston, something they hadn't been able to do all season. Now Kristen O'Neill with speed back to Stacy shoots. That went off the calf. And a really good play by Vite there to get the puck out and push it up to her line mates. Here we see the first physical play of the game, and Maureen Murphy getting that first chance just mumbles the puck there. But Benicia is there to clean it up. And Laura Stacy getting that first bump from Renata Fast in this game. It's going to be a physical one. Neutral zone draw goes the way of Montreal. Stays along the blue line, though, is Leslie. Looks for the pass to Comfort, gets it. Comfort chips it down. Played by Dave and Comfort right there with the speed. Coming in hot, but Montreal looks to stretch that pass. And it's a race for what a Marchment. Great, what a great foot race for Kennedy Marchment there. You know you have to win that race, and that's exactly what she does. Miller on the ice for Toronto, but in their zone in front. That one could have been sneaky for LaFour. Lum takes it from the point. Dau winds up and in the glove of Campbell. And again, again, Kennedy Marchment getting that pickoff pass there. We see Hannah Miller, she tries to make that DD pass across the rock, but Kennedy Marshman is there to pick it off and they get a quality chance there. So the faceoff takes shape inside the Toronto zone again. Poulin, the faceoff leader by far for Montreal. And at the far side wall it goes. War battle turns to a chance here. Knowles will chip it up. Knowles back in the lineup for Toronto after missing. Wednesday's game at Madame Spooner. A little touch pass to Nurse. And now Maggie Connors trying to get in the mix, but it's Venetiava. He tries to serve it up. Knowles back again. Spooner. And Venetiava had the right idea on that pass. She wanted a headman. Uh, she wanted a headman Murphy, but didn't quite get it on her stick there. But good play. Poulin looking for the pass. There's Murphy. She's yet to score a goal so far this season, but does have those five assists. Along with Venetiava, back behind the net of Campbell. Just as quick, Spooner again with the puck. Passes it over to Vasco, who winds around Willoughby from the point for Toronto. Just keeps it in the Montreal zone, looking to test out Davian. Along the wall, fast, keeps it in play. 
Back and forth. Just got to get around Dalton. Does that. Tries to get the shot off in the skates now. And he'll try one more time. The Rock with a one-timer. That one. What a great blocked. play for Renata Fast there to use her edge work, come down the wall, and try to create that scoring opportunity for her team. Really good job to get it to the forwards and make sure that she's putting the puck to the net. Now Kogan for Toronto tries to keep it in the offensive zone. Laura Stacy though brings it in, looks for the shot. And that'll be Ali Monroe just getting in the way for Toronto. Great play from Ali Monroe. She gets her hands up, but at the same time, you got to be a big body to stop Laura Stacy. In the first few minutes of this game, going quick. Teams going back and forth. Toronto looking to work on that momentum. Captain Turnbull has it now. She'll take it far side. She's got Monroe in the slot. Looks to feed it. Howard putting the pressure on. Turnbull protecting the line. And Montreal, Stacy's right there. And that bump on Kristen O'Neill is allowed. Knowles will keep it going for Toronto back behind the net of Debian. It's in front, and she just covers it up. Tensions already boiling over here. Oh, yeah, Toronto-Montreal arrival. I think we've got a good one. <laughs> Emma Malte is crashing the net, going hard to the net there. Obviously, Montreal's got to protect their goalie, but great job for Emma Maltese to get to the net. One of the players on the rise, for sure. Another physical play, but Stacey's able to get it to O'Neal, and then Brittany Howard's able to power O'Neal off the puck. And that brings the faceoff into the Montreal zone. Miller now, she got two goals in the last game. She's looking to add to the tally. Comfer. Down to Leslie and back behind Debian with a little piece on it. And it's okay. Jillian Dempsey for Montreal tries to carry it in. Happy belated birthday to Jillian Dempsey. Turned 33 yesterday. Rebecca Leslie now. She gets in close. She shoots. And it's just high. What a chance for Leslie in Toronto. And Leslie's got to get that one on net, at least for a shot opportunity, at least produce a rebound. Can't be putting those ones over the net. Sarah LaFour off to dump it down as Maureen Murphy for Montreal goes out. Flanagan has it. Tees up Spooner. She's just got to get past one near. Oh, and back she goes. Dominika Lashkova in the mix now. Venetiava through the legs on that pass. Maggie Connors takes it away. Maggie Connors still looking for her first goal. Now Spooner looks to dish it to Connors. That gets disrupted and Montreal takes it back. The home crowd propelling this line. More physical play. That time it will get called. Big hit on Maureen Murphy there. The crowd going insane on that one, but they're happy with the call. So Adley Monroe in the box for an interference call. Toronto has the second worst penalty kill in the league so far, 80%. Yeah, and we see the hit here. We see Ali Monroe just play the extra little hit there on Venetiava, and she takes a tumble. Montreal on the power play at home here early on in the first. Katie Tabin tries to keep it in, and they'll have to resend in the neutral zone back into their, go their zone. Turnbull getting in close. Turnbull using her speed there on the four check, doing a really good job to force them and try to make that quick play on the power play. Turnbull loves the transitions, possible turnovers. Head coach Troy Ryan saying they just need her to play her powerful, hard style of hockey. And Toronto did get the first ever shorthanded goal, which allows a team to spring forth its pen penalized player, but. Montreal setting up. Laura Stacy. She gets by Nurse. She tries to pass it now. Venetiava. She knows how to record those assists and looks to do it here now down low. Plenty of pressure from Lorianne Rougeau, and that'll allow Toronto to clear the zone. Flanagan just backs that down. Good penalty kill here for Toronto. They're keeping the pressure on. They're making sure they're using their speed to make sure that Montreal can't break out easily. 
And so they'll reset Maureen Murphy with plenty of speed into the Toronto zone. Ambrose with the feed earlier along the blue line. Shots on goal at two apiece right now. In the first period, neutral zone draw. Montreal takes it away. And that pass to Dubois just a little too much. LaRock gets there first, fast in the mix. And here comes Turnbull once again. She'll take it away, gets past Lum. Stays on her feet, but Bouchot right in front. What a pass. We Our see side. the speed there from Blair Turnbull. We, we need that speed from her. She blows by Leah Lum. Leah Lum nearly gets a redemption there for Montreal. And LaRock without a stick, she'll use her feet all the same. And we're back at even strength. Seemingly the fastest penalty kill for Toronto, but a big one at that. Great little pickoff there from O'Neill. She's, she's in the center there, making sure for checking properly and making sure she's picking off those passes. And now Emma Malte, she'll send it around the boards. Howard is there. Lots of talk about Brittany Howard's powerful shot for Toronto. She's yet to connect with the net on that. And then she'll take it away, tries to get the shot off. I believe Davian kicked it out. Either way, getting in close on this Montreal net. Far side, board battle. Puck loose. It's Leah Lum who tries to chip it down. Leslie in the way, sends it back. Had a Miller right there. And it's, it's gut check time for Montreal here. They've been stuck in their zone for a little while and they've got to make sure to get the puck all the way out. Miller feeds it fast, shoots that one. Turned away by Davian. With a quick one-timer, though, she'll keep it in the zone for Toronto. Sustained pressure. They had this in their game against Boston. Still came up short. Now a huge race. Fast will get there first. And the perfect last name, Renata Fast. It's exactly what she is. She's got plenty of speed. And now here comes Nurse. She shoots that one. Good try for Sarah safe. Nurse there. Doing a good job to carry the play throughout the neutral zone and get a shot off. Spooner scoops it in, looks for the wraparound. Rebound. The Rock will tee up a pass instead, drops it to Nurse. Nurse shoots through traffic. We know Spooner loves those wraparounds. <laughs> she was right there, but this could be a bigger chance for Kennedy Marchman getting in close. She shoots, and a big stop by Campbell. Marchman still with the puck, far corner. She'll take it out. Looks for the shot. Keppel through traffic. So many chances, Soroya. But we're still scoreless here at Verdun Auditorium in this first meeting of Montreal and Toronto. And the faceoff will be in Toronto's zone. Captain Turnbull takes on Maureen Murphy. Wins that easy back to Ambrose. She'll take the shot long. Off the bodies that time in front. Block shots, loose puck. Miller losing track of that one. Helped out by her teammate. Murphy finds it again. Takes it around. Pass to Ambrose, tees it up. Keppel right there, she shoots. And Campbell makes the save, covers it up. Great job from Campbell there. She, she drops that rebound, but she's able to pounce on that right in front of her. But again, Montreal doing a really good job to control in zone play. Get those shots from the point. We see Ambrose take a nice shot from the point. Keppel tries to get and knows where that shot's coming from. Another face-off win for Montreal. Keppel feeds to Ambrose through again. Captain Turnbull with her stick on that one. Now sustained pressure. No and call on that one. Now the crowd certainly wants it, but it'll be Emma Malte with speed far side. She looks for that feed to Howard. And again, teeing it up. Toronto swarming, but Montreal Protects their zone, Poulin carries it out. She's got options, dumps it. Smart dump change. there, smart dump there for Poulin. They're, they needed that change. And so we're not a fast on a pass, but now Sarah Bougeot has it. And just as quick, fast, trying to defend in front. And that puck goes up high. Allows Toronto to clear it just as quick. Leah Lum putting on the speed. She's looking for the pass option. She'll take the shot and send it in front. They score!
NHL. Oh yeah, Sarah Bujan, she played for the Riveters in the PHF last season. And I bet she's happy to get this first goal. We see Leah Lum open up, swivel hips, try to get the defender off of her. She puts that perfectly far pad for Bujan to come in and pick up. What a great play for Leah Lum here. I love this assist from her. And Bujan there to put it in the back of the net. So Sarah Nurse will take this face off in Toronto. Again, having trouble scoring in the first period until that game against Boston on Wednesday. So they're no stranger to trailing and they'll look to tie things up with a big shot, Connors. That one goes wide. Again, Toronto checking Davian. Toronto's got to hit the net on those open shot lanes. Knowles nearly losing track of the puck. Spooner has it though. But it's offside, and just like that, it seems Montreal lighting up the lamp here at Verdun Auditorium. Sarah Bougeau with the goal. They lead 1-0. Montreal's Kristen O'Neill in the neutral zone draw, but Toronto wins it not cleanly enough. O'Neill, the pass to Bette. And back behind the net of Kristen Campbell. She's had the most starts of any goaltender in the league. And one win for Toronto has been on the road. Not surprising as the road teams have certainly had the upper hand. In fact, just Minnesota and Montreal, the lone teams in the league so far to win at home. They have not done an effort done. And that effort stopped as LaRock serves it back. Spooner goes for it. Great little play there from Katie Tabin. She just chips the puck up in the neutral zone, tries to get that to Pate, but Toronto's back resetting here in their, their D zone. So fast will carry it out. She'll take it near side, gets past Leslie, now down center. Is she gonna take the shot or the pass? She's got options. Miller's out there, Flanagan. Leslie tees it up, shoots, looks with a tip in, it goes wide. Davian quickly repositions Toronto with continued pressure here in the Montreal zone. They're looking to get the equalizer early in the first. A good play for Toronto there down in their, their O zone though. I mean, they're pushing the puck around and making sure that they have control. Turnbull takes it in front. Does she get the shot off? No. Back around behind the net of Debian. She'll try it again, keeping along the near side boards. Flanagan down deep. She's got Malte right there, Keppel as well though. And in front, loose puck. Davian will dive on it. Montreal getting hemmed in their zone here. Bouncing puck, but Davian's able to clean up and make sure they're not putting that one on net and getting clear shots. We see here though, Blair Turbo, we've seen plenty of goals like this from her where she drops her shoulder, tries to beat them wide. She's got awesome speed. She scored definitely a couple goals like this in the PWHPA last season. She's able to get this one to the net. Already back in the Toronto zone, of course, Montreal with the most penalty kill practice. Oh, second most, actually, after New York has now usurped them as the most penalized team. After today's game, Nurse. Back behind the net of Davian. Spooner looking to dig it out. They do. Connors out there, LaRock. She'll just send it back, take it to Spooner and Nurse. Katie Tabin, Winnipeg product. Important defender for. And I'm okay with that play from Katie Tabin. Keeping it away, eating the puck along the boards, wasting time. She didn't necessarily have a clear shot to put it down the ice, so I can respect that play. Pressure along the boards. Montreal clears it out again. Just look for Kristen O'Neill to do that work. But just as quickly, Spooner back in the Montreal zone. It gets chipped down. They'll just trade this all day long. They're chewing the clock. Less than a minute to go here. And Danielle, when we were talking to Coach Troy Ryan, he said that they were working on their puck retrievals. You lose that puck on that power play, you gotta outman and get that puck back. Now Turnbull, she'll take it near side, skim along the wall, get past Lum. Try to drive it back, Flanagan. The quick pass to Fast. Or Hannah Miller, rather. Now Captain Turnbull, she shoots. That one's turned away by Debian. 
and will go for it again. Flanagan from the point. She's got options. Howard to her right. She'll take Miller on the left. Shoots up high. That's stopped again by Davian. And Blue End does not like them touching her goalie. Don't touch the goalie. I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah, she'll get... Captain Clutch will come in and handle business as needed. The moment you throw that extra shot at the goalie, as a former defense woman, I am definitely throwing the shots at you too. You can't touch my goalie. <laughs> so that will cost Poulin a trip to the penalty box. And Emma Malte. <laughs> okay, that's great. She thought she was going into the penalty box. <laughs> that's just into the crowd, but she's now taking a seat, so. Again, it was a Toronto power play. There's 12 seconds left. Shots on goal, by the way, favoring the visitors 10 to 6 right now. And it will look to be 5 on 4 for Toronto. Renata Fast will take it away now. Time is ticking down, though. Sarah Bougeau open scoring for Montreal. La Rock keeps it along the center line. Final seconds here as we see Keppel released from the penalty box back out on the ice. Even strength, but remember Poulin and Molte out of it, and Toronto with three scoring chances on that power play. Unable to capitalize, but maintain pressure. Jesse Comfer sliding in there. Katie Tabin, though, for Montreal. Hogan as well in white. Keppel will carry it out. Again, right out of the penalty box and into it. Now O'Neill. She'll look to clear it out. You just got to get by Spooner. Spooner takes it. She drives the net in front. What a save, and again, they try for it. Toronto, Nurse shoots up high. Wow. Three big stops for Anne-Renée Debian. Debian's lost her stick now as well. Rougeau will see it up and a shot right in front. And again, and again. Montreal, the crowd knows exactly what's happening. Four massive stop. Yes, I see you, Davian. I see you. These are phenomenal saves here without the stick, kicking that pad out on both Spooner and Nurse. Turnbull has it, though. She's looking for the feed to Howard. Shoots that one wide. Again, Toronto just mounting the pressure. But incredible goaltending. So Howard now with the feed, the big shot. That one, Monroe, this time. It goes near side. Flanagan keeps it in for Toronto. She'll see something up. Looks for that pass to Turnbull, turns away. And again, Flanagan now, Montreal will just call that off completely. What a great time there for Toronto. Had some really good ozone possession and was able to get some quality chances. Just can't put one past Davian. The crowd not loving what they're seeing as Toronto does what they do best. The physical play, Howard now near side, big feed. That one a little too hot. Miller chases it down far side. A good dump for Brittany Howard there. She saw Hannah Miller have her speed going in there, and Hannah Miller was first on the puck, so great dump for Brittany Howard. Yeah, this team with plenty of speed, fast to her longtime D partner, LaRock. Now down deep, Davian nearly got out of position. My goodness, Soroya. <laughs> and we saw here Toronto keeping the pressure on heavy and having some quality chances against Davian here, but she's saying, no, not today. You cannot buy one on Davian. We see Natalie Spooner come in here. She wants to cut across, but Davian says nope. She pushes her pad across and covers that post and is able to close the door. Natalie Spooner could not buy one on Davian that shift. <laughs> and you gotta also give something for the fans here at Verdun Auditorium because they're they're a big factor in this game so far. The energy from this crowd, especially on those saves. They know they're hockey and they know what they just witnessed. And it'll be Toronto's LaRock has it. She's got a chance. She won't get it off. She'll take it around instead. Laskova with some pressure. And now the loose puck. Miller nearly gets to it right away fast. Takes it away. Draws it around. Laskova sends it back. And now with open ice. Oh, Kennedy Marchman can't quite keep her stick on it, but that could have been something. Great look there to find Kennedy Marchman up ice. Just puck bouncing. But Rebecca Leslie will weave through, tries to. 
But Venetia has other plans. She'll go far side this time. Her stick handling, so impressive. Maureen Murphy, but now Flanagan has it. Tees it up, down. Nurse Spooner back on the ice. In the first period, winding down quick. Final minute here. Montreal looking for the pass. Ambrose here. She's got Murphy. Murphy tries to get the shot up. No, back around. Instead, she'll opt to send it back to Ambrose. Venetia looks to feed it. Keppel from the point now. Over to Ambrose. Wind up shot up high. Oh, and Ali Munro, there's another. What a block shot by Ali Munro. She looks like she's in a bit of pain, and I, I would be too if I was taking Ambrose's shot. <laughs> uh, Ambrose to Poulin, but Spooner comes in with speed and intention near side. Keppel creating some much needed space as Spooner could have wrapped it around. Loose puck now. Nurse finds it near side towards the net. And again, Natalie Spooner, she'll send it back. Malte on the chase. But that'll do it for the first 20 minutes, and it's already been a roller coaster ride. Montreal with the lead, though, after a first PWHL goal from Sarah Bougeau, helped by Leah Lum. And we are joined now by Toronto's Hannah Miller, coming off a two goal game earlier in the week. But Hannah, Tonight in Montreal, first time meeting with this team. It's already been fast and physical. What are you seeing out on the ice? Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a, a good game uh, so far, up and down. Uh, we just got to keep playing our game here, and uh, I think it's going to come for us. Well, Hannah, just on a personal note, obviously everyone has different paths to get into this league, but what's it like to be playing against Leah Lum, a teammate of yours on the Chinese national team? Yeah, you know, that's pretty cool. Uh, we have a long history together uh, playing over in China, so it's uh, it's awesome to see her uh, out here on the ice, but uh, at the end of the day tonight, we're competitors. Thank you so much. Thank you. And Montreal wins that. Opening face-off here in the second period. They're looking to come out strong. Now, shots on goal actually favoring Toronto 14 to 6. And Captain Poulin will try to get that shot off fast in the way. Stops any attempt there. Venetia looking to stick handle her way out of this. Just got to get past LaRock. Easier said than done. Murphy to Ambrose. Ambrose shoots. And oh, a little wide there. That's okay. Looking for the rebound. Shoot towards the net anyway. Down near side. And Connors. Connors has all the room. She's going to take a shot. No, feed it. And in front. Oh, Spooner with a great chance. And for Toronto, she's going to want it back. And Damien. Nurse feeds to Connor in front. They've got support. Miller's there. Monroe as well. They'll look behind the net of Damien now. Ambrose to Poulin. Chips it up. Venetia chasing down Molte. Molte will take it. Again, Davy and making these quality saves back to back to back. It's hard enough to make the first one, let alone the second, third, fourth, like she's doing. And this Verdun Auditorium crowd is a rowdy one. Love to see it. Now Captain Turnbull will take it away. Drop pass there to Molte back behind the net. Howard with a shot. Can't get it off. O'Neill battling for it. And again, Turnbull that time. And I see Emma Maltese there. She tries to find Blair Turnbull in the slot, but Blair can't quite connect on that shot, but the right play for sure. Laura St Stacy dumps it down. She then chases it back behind the net of Kristen Campbell. Kristen Campbell with her sixth start for Toronto. She's starting all the games. Turnbull takes it away to Howard now in front of Malte. And that one's stopped again by Debian in close contact. Great draw for Emma Walte driving the net. Claire Dalton on a breakaway right in front. She shoots. It's stopped. It's saved by Campbell. Nearly couldn't track it, but covers it up. What a great chance there for Claire Dalton on the breakaway. I was fortunate enough to play with Claire at Yale University, and Claire is such a leader. She's able to create those plays. She's able to score those goals, and she's had some really great chances and scored their first inaugural goal. We see Maggie Connors here. She hits them with the spin and pass, but Davian again says, nope, not today, Spooner. Yeah. Davian making sure she's got her eye on the play there and shutting the door. What a chance. Now, Rebecca Leslie will circle back. Toronto just wants to clear it out of their zone. Back behind the net of Campbell. 
fast. The feet to Leslie back. Comfort tries to get her stick on it, but Catherine Dubois, who's been incredible for Montreal coming in as a reserve player. Daou now chips it down. Campbell will opt to just turn it away. Fast, far corner. Drugs off Poulin. Looks to get her stick on it. Got Bujo in the mix. She's already open scoring here for the home team. Daou over to Lam. Can't keep it on side. So Toronto takes it away. Leslie with speed in front. It's LaRock. She scores! Jocelyn LaRock does it for Toronto. And now we're all tied up. Oh, yeah. And the crowd is silenced now. We see Ambrose throw this puck across the blue line, but her partner isn't there to get it. Rebecca Leslie comes down. She's looking across and makes that play to LaRock. She sees her going back door and LaRock not covered on that back door doorstep. So Montreal is going to have to relook at that goal and make sure they're covering back door for Davian here. First goal of her PWHL career. All smiles from Jocelyn The Rock, the veteran defender for Toronto. Gets it done. So we're all tied up at Verdun. And now Montreal will just look to tee up something and of course get it into onto the stick of Poulin would certainly help. Back Ambrose. Tease it up for Poulin. Murphy chases down Monroe. And Maggie Connors again with the feet to nurse. She tests Davian. Locked in though. And a nice little play there from Sarah Nur showing her skill. She pulls the puck in, is able to get that shot off from that pass from her teammate. That's a really good chance. Connors holds the line. Nurse knows where that puck is. She pulls it in, gets that shot right into the chest of Davian. So they're going to have to pick their spots if they want to get the lead here. So Malte and O'Neill meet in the face-off circle. And just as quick, Malte chases it close to Davian. Stacy now, though, for the home team. And she's going to come in with speed, as she's known for. Again, she has played one less game than some of her teammates, but has the most shots on goal coming into this for Montreal. Captain Turnbull looks for Rougeau on the point. Over to Knowles, big shot in front. Malte is a tip and it's still alive. Turnbull tries to get at it. Howard tees it up, big shot. And now another big save from Davian. And a good play there for Howard to throw the puck towards the net. She knows there's a big scrum. She knows that Davian is down, not in positioning. So great job for Brittany Howard to put the puck to the net. Bit of a collision between Tabin and Knowles. Again, all tied up here and shots on goal. Soroya just widening now 20 to 8 for the visitors. Oh, yeah, Toronto showing a dominant presence here in the Ozone, making sure they're getting their shots off. But Davian is shutting the door, obviously facing 20 shots already. They're going to have to look to get one by her. And she has been absolutely solid for Montreal. Jillian Dempsey. As Monroe takes it for Toronto. No, a chance for Dempsey in front. The crowd singing loud at Verdun and in front. That now behind the net. Loose Marchman on it. Getting some support. Toronto, though, looks to clear it. Can't quite. Still below the goal line. As Caitlin Willoughby, Willoughby rather, sends it up for Kogan. Kogan looking for a pass. That one in the slot for Monroe, but this has opened things up now for Jillian Dempsey. Mo Poulin Labelle providing some much needed protection for Toronto. And so away they go the other side. Now Caitlin Willoughby getting bothered by Anne-Sophie Bette back behind the net. Toronto still in the offensive zone. Mariah Keppel taking care of that. Not quite. Nurse turns it back. Out of the net is Davian. Vaskova will send it around. She's got Stacy there, but Lorianne Rougeau trying to poke the puck free. Natalie Spooner as well for Toronto. They've got Maggie Connors out on the ice along with LaRock. And instead, Laskova will send it up. Rougeau keeps it. No, now Bette takes it away. Drop pass to Stacy. Big shot stopped by Campbell. We see Claire Dalton. I mentioned earlier, I, I played with Claire at Yale. She's a great leader. 
She was Yale's team captain last season. And a great breakaway chance for her here. But Campbell's able to shut the door, make that save. But again, Claire was able to get Montreal the first inaugural goal as well. So great season so far for Claire Dalton. Yeah, opening up franchise, scoring on a team like this. And again, now testing in front that one. Toronto able to save Laskova with a big shot from the point. Far side Spooner. Well, no, couldn't dish that one. So LaRock will try it and breaks the stick in the process. That's actually Kristen O'Neill's stick. Natalie Spooner up to fast. Just trying to clear it out and nurse. Sends it over to LaRock and again, and Bette, and Sophie Bette just Open and poke it free. But here comes the rock far side. Great effort there for Maggie Connors to stay on side. We saw her in the splits almost. And again, Connors to Spooner. Oh, and again, those two wanting to connect on something. So close. Fast. Just got to turn away from Stacy. So many of these players, of course, familiar with each other on the Canadian national team. Laskova plays it up to Tabin, and Howard nearly turns that over. Dalton here comes, had that breakaway chance earlier, but there's pieces of stick in the Toronto zone that belong to Kristen O'Neill. That'll get in the mixture as Flanagan and Dubois go after it. Dalton up to Lum, shoots through traffic. Loose puck, Poulin slides to go get it. And a good job from Claire Dalton to move that puck up the wall to Leo Lum and get that shot off. Flanagan serves it back behind the net of Campbell. And Toronto continues. Malte with a hard pass there, but here's a big chance. Marie Philippe Poulet, she cuts it, she scores! Leave it to the captain to restore the lead. with a 2-1 lead over Toronto. And again, shots on goal favoring the visitors 21-12. to Talk about efficiency. Now Comfer, back to Leslie. They try to connect for a shot on DBN. LaRock from the point near side. And that's the crowd again recognizing that they just got to witness a Poulin goal on home ice fast. Sends it back. So she didn't get the breakaway goal, but she helped on a big chance there, and it turned into the lead for Montreal. Like you said, shots are only 21 to 12 for Toronto. So Montreal with only 12 shots and able to get that one in on Campbell. Catherine Dubois with a feed to Dalton in front. Dubois. Toronto able to help out netminder Campbell on that one. Campbell has allowed at least two goals in every game so far. Toronto does have one win on the season. That happened on the road in New York. Their game two, week one of the PWHL. We're not even a month in, and it's just been gripping action. Here's another chance. No, oh, that one at least cleared out with Knowles. Good try there for Olivia Knowles. She tried to put that tape to tape, but Montreal comes in and picks off that pass. Toronto's got to make sure those passes in the neutral zone are tape to tape. And here comes Caitlin Willoughby. She's going to put on speed. She connects with Dau. Another broken stick, Leah Lum. Tries to feed it around near side wall. Willoughby brings it over to Kogan. Vasco in the slot. Will be Rougeau far side. They battle for it below the goal line. This time Dempsey and Dau along with LaFour for Montreal. And now Noel, she'll tee up a shot and in front. That contact will again draw some work. Now Nurse 
for Monroe, rather. Tees it down. She's got Howard there and Turnbull, too. They try to get it around. Toronto looking to get the equalizer again in the second after making it 1-1 early on. Turnbull back to Monroe. Monroe has room, but body's in the way. Uses the traffic, and Davian reads it perfectly. And come on, look at the tracking on that puck. I think that puck hit a few things on the way to her, but she sees it all the way through. We saw Allie Monroe take this shot, goes to the net, Bounces twice, and Davian just gloves that right out of the air. Forget 2020 vision. I want Anne Rene Davian vision. <laughs> My goodness. Get some Davian glasses on Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Sarah Nurse in the face-off circle here for Toronto. They are in the offensive zone, but once again, can't quite win that face-off. LaRock tries to keep it in play. Now, St Laura Stacy, she's got Bette with her. She'll feed it up below the goal line, down deep. Trying to create movement in front. Stacy with a shot. Campbell gets a piece of it. Spooner collects it far side. Fast to LaRock. That'll settle that one, LaRock, with the feed. No, she'll just dump it down deep just to create some space here again. Toronto having the most chances according to the shots on goal. 26 to 13. Look at that speed from Laura Stacy. She's able to get in on that as that F1 and really force the pressure with her speed. Oh, Nurse with some good stick handling, but it's not enough. And they'll go for a change. Mariah Keppel. A quick pass to Aaron Ambrose. Stopped short by Leslie. Forced back behind the net of Debian. Mariah Keppel up. Looking for Ambrose near side. That one stopped short by Miller, and now Comfer takes it away. Jesse Comfer driving the action towards the net. Aaron Ambrose will do it again. That time, another shot. Rougeau was near the net there. She'll take it far side. Settles it back. Jesse Comfer. Feed to Miller. Keeps it in. He'll tee up again. Comfort to Leslie, now Miller. They'll cycle it around, look at the Rougeau. And again, that Ozo time for Toronto developed because Montreal's not making those tape to tape passes on the way out. Ambrose and Keppel got to make those tape to tape passes on the DN. Rougeau to Knowles, and Miller now near side, but she'll just dump it down. Ambrose. Sends it up, uses the boards to get there. Dempsey tries to chase it down back to Ambrose. And the puck is loose. Dempsey tries to take control, but Captain Turnbull will do the work. Drop pass to Monroe. She'll send it up for Howard. It's a big chase and an icing. And Ambrose has been great defensively for Montreal. We see her here. She wants to get this play. leader at this time just helping her team navigate this not of course the start that they wanted to this season just one win through five games this is their sixth but LaRock she opened scoring wow just bumped off of that puck Katie Tabin and a nice spin move for LaRock at the blue line there she tries to generate some offense but Katie Tabin's got a good stick just gives her that little poke and is able to get that puck back Leah Lum sends it back Picked up by Fast this time. Dubois on the forecheck, and Katie Taven, no. Gabrielle David, who got her first PWHL goal Tuesday night. And now from the point up high, back behind the net of Davian. Comfort goes for that second chance shot. Toronto still has it, Miller. Feet to Fast, Fast back to LaRock. Through traffic, tries to get to Miller down deep. Lum goes to dislodge the puck. Lum has it now. Off the glass. Poulin LaBelle chases it down. Great draw from Catherine Dau there. She was able to get the bump and pin and have her forward come in and pick up that puck. That's exactly what you want on the defensive end. 
Catherine Daou rims it around Nurse to Connors. Nurse teeing up. She looks for a shot. She shoots that one. Easy bounce off the pads of Debian. Back behind the net now. Miller in blue and white, but it'll be Catherine Daou. Chips it up. Lorianne Rougeau. Sends it back. Leah Lum. Nifty pass. They'll just trade back and forth. Looks for the stretch. Has all the space. Laura Stacey shoots. What a stop by Campbell. Stacey goes into the boards. She gets up all right. Now Kristen O'Neill. But there is a penalty coming. So Debian now off to the bench. But there's the whistle. So Montreal on a power play coming up. Oh, yeah. And Montreal finding their headman passes. Not necessarily doing the greatest job getting the puck out of their zone. But they've looked up. They've had their heads up and made, making sure to give their forwards their headman passes. And not only a power play, but Sarah Nurse taking a seat in the penalty, in the penalty box. And we've seen it. Leah Lum again pass this all the way up to Laura Stacey. Laura Stacey using her speed. Gets that shot off on Campbell and ends up getting tripped up. Yeah, it's a cross-checking call on Sarah Nurse. So Ambrose, the feet of Poulin, shoots it in front. Keppel trying to provide that screen. No, that was Stacy rather. It is the top power play unit for Montreal. Ven Venetia getting in the mix there. LaRock and Malte digging in for Toronto. And what a time for the home team to get a power play. They could extend this lead here late in the second. And I see what Toronto's trying to do here. You want to eat that puck. You want to stay on top of it so that they can't get possession. And you're killing time on the penalty kill. That's what you need. Oh, Turnbull laying the boom. That'll slow things down. Aaron Ambrose knows a thing or two about patience. Feeds it over to Poulin. Far side, Miller. No, Malte, rather. Getting in on it. What a great board battle for Poulin there. She's able to pull the puck in close Stacey to her feet. Venetia, but what a block by LaRock. Now Ambrose, high slot. Looks for room. Poulin tries to shoot another big block there by Renata Fast. Ambrose again takes the shot in front. Montreal really good on their puck retrievals here on the power play. Murphy back to Poulin. Will she tee up a shot? She does high off the glass that time. They've got plenty of time here, 33 seconds left. Five on four. Ambrose to Poulin. Trying to find space on the other side this time. Ambrose again looking for the pass. She's got Marchment. Taven with a one-timer high. Malte wins the race, sends it down deep. And you see the control there from Montreal. They're able to keep that possession and get a full line change on that power play. So really good job to keep possession and puck retrievals. Now Ali Monroe able to settle it back, back to even strength. The great penalty kill is really only one big scoring chance there for Montreal on that power play. Went by quick final minute here in the second period. Both teams have scored in this middle frame. Toronto to tie the game at one and then Captain Poulin to extend that lead or restore it rather for Montreal. Great job for Claire Dalton there to beat Lorraine Rougeau to the foot race. Now, Laskova, oh, she fakes the shot. Marchment feeds it down to Dalton. Back, loose puck. Laskova nearly gets on it. Katie Dablin settles it down. Back to Dalton up. Marchment looking to get her stick on it. Final seconds start to wind down here. Lorian Rougeau holding it down for Toronto on the board this battle. Vasco just sends it down deep. And that'll do for a fiery 40 minutes at Verdun Auditorium. Montreal opening this period with a 1-0 lead. Toronto tying it up with a goal by Laroque, but then Captain Poulin brings it back 2-1. Leah, you helped. You got your first assist of the season on that big goal by Sarah Bougeot to open things up for your team. Just take me through what you saw. Um, yeah, I think free game, we have some video on the goalies and just getting shots through. Um, I knew we had uh, 
couple number of us going up the ice there, so I thought just, you know, get a shot on net and good things happen when you put pucks on net. Well, Montreal and Toronto have, you know, a storied rivalry in some other hockey leagues, but this one starts tonight. How much fun, I hope it's fun, how much fun is it to go up against the, this team that you played with so many of these players? Yeah, I think not even just Toronto-Montreal. I think you know, the, the inaugural season of PWHL, you can create rivalries through all the teams. So, um, obviously, yeah, with Montreal and, and Toronto and, and NHL, is such a good rivalry. So, um, it's exciting. It, it's been an awesome uh, start of, to the season so far and the fans are, are getting us going every time we're on the ice so it's been unreal. I mean this crowd is absolutely electric it's hard to you know not feel absolutely energized so Leah final question here how does your team get through the next period with a regulation win? Um, yeah just obviously doing what we've been doing uh, when we have the puck uh, deep so just you know getting pucks deep getting pucks on net and like I said before, through our first goal, good things happen when you put things on that. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Nurse and Poulin meet at center, but it is Montreal takes it away. A team that has a really solid <laughs> presence Toronto in the knows, face -off circle. Toronto knows they have to have a strong presence in this third period. They have to continue to put that pressure on and get those shots through. Spooner tries to Pass it up to Nurse. Davian will cover it up. But Davian, we talked about the lopsided shots on goal. Coming into this period, having faced 29 shots, saving 28. A good job for Sarah Nurse on that four check there. She just happens to overskate the puck, and Davian just covers it. But again, good job from Sarah Nurse to beat everyone to the puck and win that puck, that foot race. Move to the middle in. Wednesday's game, so at least Spooner will take that offensive zone draw. Back to fast, will she take the shot or make the pass? She's looking for space. Loose puck, Nurse back to Spooner. The rock in the mix as well. And here comes the speed from Kristen O'Neill. She'll serve it down below the net of Campbell. Pushes that puck to the outside, Taven on the blue line. Good Battle job from Taven it. there to keep that puck in. The puck's bouncing, but she is able to kick that with her feet. You gotta be able to use your stick and your feet. Jocelyn LaRock moving, stick handling her way down, but that allows Toronto to set up in front. Turnbull really releases that one. Of course, the hard shot goes the other way. Stacy bats it in, Turnbull. She's got Malte. To her left and Flanagan on her right. Down deep, she'll take it. Taven gets her stick on the puck and Monroe just unable to keep it in. Blair Turnbull showing off her speed there. She beat everyone to the puck. Carried the play in the neutral zone, dumped that puck in and beat all two of Montreal's defenders to the puck. Jillian Dempsey deciding to get in on it now. Got some help, but it's offside. And we see Blair Turnbull still waiting to get her first PWHL point. And she's got to be frustrated here. Katie Taven takes a tumble behind the net. And Turnbull just fans on that puck. It's unable to get it off her stick properly, but she's got to be a little frustrated. But then again, being a great leader on her team, she's able to keep her mindset right and still generate that positivity on the bench as a great leader. Comper switches out with Miller in the neutral zone draw. The alum will dump it back down behind the net of Campbell, taking it around Miller. Back to LaRock. LaRock, the lone goal scorer so far for Toronto. From the point now, Lum. And Daou winds up. Shot blocked by Miller right in front. And Rebecca Leslie tries to fight for it. Miller, after just being on the ground, on the ice, she's back at it. Quick little feed to Comfer. Comfer looks for the pass to Leslie. Circles back. Some help from Connors, and she scores! Newfoundland. And there we go. Maggie Connors is on the board. This game is tied up 2-2. 
doing a really good job. Comfort pushes the puck out wide. Rebecca Leslie again carrying a lot of the play. Maggie Connors able to get that off, but I think Davian might have been screened on that one. She had four Montreal players in front of her. Maggie Connors is able to get that to the net. And Shania Twain for a goal song, too. I mean, <laughs> let's get rocking. Now, Toronto was able to score early on in the second. They've now done it here in the third to tie things. And a confident effort there by the visitors. Making that, by the way, their 30th the shot on goal compared to 16 by Montreal. But it's about efficiency, and so Nurse and Spooner are going to try to get at it and extend the lead even further. Road teams, of course, have the bulk of the wins in the PWHL. Spooner drugs that one off, gets in front, and Nurse tries to get a tip in. Venetia will have none of that. She gets in on Connors. Nurse tries to feed it through. Flanagan keeps it away from Maureen Murphy. And Poulin, that physical contact. All good in the books here as we and Poulin Back appears at it. to be hurt. She's on the bench now. She was down on that, that big hit there. Howard tees up her shot. That one high. I think Debian got a piece of it. Either way, that Howard shot is one that PWHL Toronto has been waiting to see. And a nice job from Sarah Bujold there. She's able to throw an oldie around there and get that hit off. See Poole in here, trying to get physical. She just has to Ooh. trip into the board there, and it looks like her shoulder takes the brunt of that. She goes right off onto the bench there in, in some pain, but we'll look for her to get back out here and continue to be good. She is tough, absolutely. And right now, puck loose in the Toronto zone. They'll look to clear it. Their captain, Turnbull, still without a point yet this season. Howard, the big feed to Malte, and Malte's just got to get past Laskova. Easier said than done. Here comes Dubois, and what nifty work there, but it's fast that takes it away. LaRock got things going for Toronto in the first. And again, home team now, Stacy. She's been able to get shots on goal. She wants to add to her goal tally. That icing will be waved off, and Leah Lum is back with full speed to pick up that puck. The crowd starting to chant here at Verdun. They know what's on the line. They want a victory here. Montreal was able to do it at Class Bell in Laval on Tuesday night. Montreal will dump it down. That's Keppel giving chases. Bette, plenty of pressure down deep. Laura Stacy wants to free it. Bette now. Back to Miller. Miller up to Leslie. Working through the legs of Stacy and Flanagan. With the pass to Miller. Had a Miller teed up. No, can't get the shot off. Laura Stacy takes it far side. Monroe stops it on the boards. Neutral zone action. Comfer passes to Leslie. Tries to find some space, but pressure there from O'Neill. And now a chance for O'Neill. Except Maggie Connors will put an end to that. Rougeau, the alum now, tees up Dempsey with a shot. Campbell makes the save in the rebound. Effort, no, Dempsey takes another. Puck nearly lost in all the commotion in the slot. That was a really good job from Kennedy Marchman. She's on the forecheck, she's F1, she's on Lorraine Rougeau, and she's able to take that puck right off of her, and her teammates, her line mates are there to, to cover her up. And Jillian Dempsey has certainly been all over it. Oh yeah, Jillian Dempsey has been great. Leah Lum keeps that puck in. Dempsey tries to get that shot off, she gets it off. Campbell drops that in front of her, but no one's there to pick up that rebound. And then we see some bodies flying. Sarah Nurse hitting Kennedy Marchman, but they just can't get one on Campbell here. Askova teeing something up. Yeah, she just wants to fire it off the end board. Staven keeping it far point. Up to Venetiava. She's got Taven shot long down deep. 
Murphy is right there, Laskova. Murphy now, she tees up Laskova again, looks for the feet in the center to Poulin, but Maggie Connors denies that. Great read from Maggie Connors there to pick off that pass so that it doesn't get to Poulin. Sarah Nurse having to pull back a bit. And Teresa Venisheva, this top line for Montreal has done so much scoring. That'll slow things down. Toronto, of course, focused on playing their best game, their game, but they do need a win considering they've only had one so far this season through the five games leading into this, and that one was on the road. Game two against New York. They'd love to play spoiler here at Verdun where the action's underway again. This time, though, Montreal in the offensive zone. They've been outshot 33 to 18, but we're tied at two. Danielle Ponticelli with Soroya Tinker. And we're back behind the net of Kristen Campbell. Loose puck, fast gets it. She's got options, feeds it up to How Howard this time. Howard looking for space to fast. And there, Catherine Dahu with an incredible stop before reaching the end boards. And once again, Fast will meet the puck first. Howard off the near side, puck goes up high. Toronto does seem to be carrying this pace here. They're bringing the quickness, and they need to continue to do that if they're going to gut out this win. And Anne Renee Debien has been incredible so far, facing 33 shots, making 31 saves. Campbell having faced 18, she's made 16 saves. And Comfer looking to get in on this action. She's looking for her first goal of the PWHL. And both of Toronto's goal scorers, LaRock and Connors, notching their first in the league. Dubois feeds it back to Keppel. And Rebecca Leslie, though, right on it with the coverage. And into the neutral zone, Knowles sends it back. Keppel wins that, now Dubois. She's got some space. That gets slowed down by Knowles. Good draw from Olivia Knowles there to take the body, ride her out into the boards, and make sure she can't drive the net on her. Montreal using the board to their advantage. Well, not quite. That one tipped up. It'll slow things back down. We talk about Toronto bringing the pace. You have to play physical, and that's exactly what Olivia doesn't drop her shoulder and go to the net on this one. And I like this defensive play from Olivia Knowles. Played at University of Minnesota and has always been a strong, solid defenseman. Katie Taven tries to feed it up to Venisheva. Got your strong line out here for the home team. Venisheva bringing it close to Campbell. Looks for the wraparound and Spooner able to get her stick on it. Taven again. No shoot for the pass now, Poulin. She's got options, back to Taven, shot from the point. Nurse blocks the shot, now on her stick. She carries it, dishes it over, she's got help. And in front of the net of Debian, she will cover it up. A close call there. Toronto wins that. Well, not cleanly, rather. Now they're chasing it down into their zone. LaRock will meet the puck before an icing. And so much pressure from David on that one. Trying to keep the puck in the Toronto zone this time. Kristen O'Neill passes it in. LaRock, she'll use the near side boards. Trying to work it off the wall. Maggie Connors, she got the equalizer for Toronto. Her very first PWHL goal. Aaron Ambrose tees it up. And Laura Stacy, she gets by one, trying to get by another. But fast denies that chance. Just as easy, though. Venisheva using her edges to get through. Create a wraparound chance. Connors, can she clear it? The visitors do. 
And come on, I said it early. Teresa Venetiava, amazing skater. You see her just floating on those edges, able to come around the net, use her edges to get back out front. And again, and now another chance. Yeah, she drives the action there, but a shot block right in front of Campbell. Partly why perhaps those shots on goal looking a little different. Lots of blocked shots in front. Now some confusion. Poulin tries to get it in, and that one denied by Campbell. And again, this first line, finding the rhythm, finding that speed, finding each other on the ice. I think that they're doing a really good job. See, Venetiava doing a really good job here with her skating. Poulin's able to put this behind the net. Matei behind the net, just figuring out where she wants to pass this, whether she's going to Venetiava or Poulin. Goes to Poulin, Poulin tries to put it upstairs but Campbell shuts the door. Now Renata fast. She carries for the chance in front. Leslie's right there and they score! No, it is waved off and plenty of words for the official on that one. Now the official's got every single Toronto player coming at him here saying that's a goal. That's a good goal. I think we might have to review this one. I mean, let's just take a listen to the fans. They've got some words too, but we'll definitely have another look at what just went down in front of the net of Anne Renee Debian. The officials discuss it and take a look. You see Ramonata Fast come in here, take that shot towards the net. Beautiful deflection by Rebecca Leslie. Davian goes to cover that puck, and they're, keep on, they're keeping on her, pushing her, and that puck goes through her. But they're calling that no goal. And that is a big opportunity for Montreal now to... And it, it really didn't look like Davian had it. It looked like she put her glove on that, but it went slid right under her. So Toronto will just have to try again, Renata Fast. Rims the puck around. Avian playing it off her stick. Aaron Ambrose returns it back fast. That's a down. Confer right there in blue and white. Chase is on and O'Neill trying to win that race. Again, Renata fast. Deceptively fast almost. It makes it look so effortless. Rebecca Leslie. She nearly got a chance at oh, but she'll bowl over her opponent, and that is going to cost Toronto. And there's the whistle. So a big time power play opportunity for the home team. Both teams have been perfect on the kill in this game so far. This is a big time opportunity. And the crowd, for the first time, might be quiet. <laughs> they are dialed in. Poulin wins the draw. Ambrose can't keep it in on the blue line, though, near side. Spooner will go chasing. How annoying to be chased by Natalie Spooner, but here's a gen, Sarah Nurse. She nearly steals that one away. Venetiava serves it back to Marchment. Nope, that's Ambrose. She turns back near side. Ali Monroe plays it down deep. Detecting the Toronto zone right now, it is Montreal with the power play. And Montreal, they have to make those take-to-take -take passes. Renata Fast, though, shorthanded, comes flying in near side. Again, shorthanded goal. Freeze. Freeze your penalized player, but also, in this game, will give you the lead. Captain Blin, she knows how to score. She's going to try to do something. Murphy with a big shot. What a block by Malte. Blin near side. Stop by Turnbull. Laskova's shot blocked as well. Stacy getting hounded by Fast, and so the puck is loose. Back in the Montreal zone. They'll use the speed and space here to get through. Katie Taven just delivering that around the end boards. Now Dalton, she's got room and space. She's got help too. Bette out there as well. Laskova to Taven. Taven with a shot, oh, off the body of Vasco. What a block, Laskova. Far side, final 20 here for the power play. Now Laskova, she tees up. And again, that one stopped short by Conquer this time, Laskova. 
exactly what you want to do if you're Toronto. Block those shots. Laskova again to Taven. Taven can't quite get the shot off, and that's a big opportunity. No, Taven will go again this time. What a penalty kill for Toronto. There's Leslie getting right at it, and the Rock. She will take that puck all over the place. Nurse tries to scoop it in. Leslie, net front, now back behind. An incredible penalty kill by the visitors on that. Flanagan, by the way, no shots on Campbell in that kill. Again, Toronto keeping the pressure on with the speed. They want to win this game. They have to keep that pressure on and developing that penalty kill and that momentum is exactly what they needed. Yeah, Connors with a nice feed to Nurse before this now as O'Neal. And send it down. Flanagan fighting for it. Now in front, O'Neal. She tries to get a shot. Bit of commotion. Bougeot in the slot too. Got David out there and Lum, who's been in on all the goals so far for Montreal. You see Montreal trying to hit that far side, that girl going into the net, but Toronto's doing a good job reading that play and picking off that backdoor pass. Catherine Daou, circle back, send it to Lum. Mimolte trying to get ahead, Sarah Bougeau sitting down on that one. Knowles around to Howard. Trying to keep those passes tight. Turnbull doesn't connect on it. And it skips down to Campbell. Less than four minutes here in regulation. Still tied at two. Venetiava trying to make something happen. Sends it up to Keppel. Over to Ambrose. Ambrose takes the shot. That one wide, but right in front. Can they tip it in? They'll battle for it. Murphy was right there. Back to Ambrose. She plays away, and it skips by the net of Campbell. We got a player with that. No, we have a Campbell. Thought it was Campbell without a stick, but the net just knocked off. I really like these shots from Aaron Ambrose from the point. As a defenseman, you talk about it. You want them on the ice or six inches off the ice. Nothing higher. And I think they're doing a really good job getting these pucks to the net. Aaron Ambrose giving her a chance to tip the puck. Venetia Bell beside the net doing a good job of burying those, but isn't able to bury it past Campbell this time. It is getting even more tense. Thought the physical play would be enough for these moments. Just right in front and again, the draw. Taven takes a shot through traffic. Bette putting the pressure on the boards as she goes for it. Montreal in the offensive zone. Turnbull looks to clear it out. Dempsey nearly pokes it free. Knowles off the wall, creates a little bit of space here, but the home team still with the pressure. Tape it up to Bette. Watch out. She had some room on your side. Lorient Rougeau just got to keep Dalton away. Does so. Captain Turnbull. Emma Malte now trying to free herself from Dempsey. And it's up. Turnbull. We'll just send it down, chase it. Katie Tabin keeping it away. Smart for Blair Turnbull to put that in on net. Why not? Miller looking to dig it out. Do the work herself. Nifty pass to Comfer. She'll take it over the blue line. Shoots. Leslie there to meet the puck near the goal line. She's got it. Battles along the near wall. Comfer just got to get on O'Neill fast. Sends it over to LaRock. Back shot, back behind the net. They're setting up. Leslie, she's got Comfer net front. But other bodies right there, including Aaron Ambrose. Miller just getting bothered by O'Neal. Very evenly matched here. I love to see the speed of Montreal when Stacy's on the ice, especially this first line. Well, they've got Poulin out there, and Venetiava actually meets the puck first here. But Spooner dishes it out. She's got Connors. Connors already with one goal in the game, and what a hit that doesn't matter because Toronto scores on it. And that'll do with their first lead of the game. It's a Natalie 
Spooner goal to get a bit of redemption on the home team. Oh yeah, we saw Natalie Spooner tonight. She's been trying to get one on debut and she just hasn't been able to buy one, but here it is. She gets her goal and this is a great one. I mean, they were about to take a penalty here. Montreal was a big hit for Katie Tabin. Huge hit on Maggie Connors here. You see her kind of run into the wall there and that's not a good hit. She's probably feeling that one. Katie Tabin was gonna take a penalty on that, but then Spooner goes directly to the net. They keep on driving the play and no one's on her. And it's officially on the scoreboard at Verdun Auditorium. A minute 24 left in regulation and what a goal by Spooner. As a player, Soroya, how good is it? I mean, it sucks to get hit like that, but then to be able to create something for your teammate there, net front. Exactly, it, that's exactly what it seemed like they did. They hit them and they were distracted. They thought they were getting the penalty call, but Natalie Spooner continued on with her drive to the net and got that perfect pass across. You heard it, all the aspiring hockey players keep playing through the whistle. So right now, Toronto with their very first lead of this game, Comfer. Chips it up, Poulin. On the center line, and Ambrose, now Bougeot, she scored in front of Les uh, Stacy rather. She tries to feed it. Ambrose, there's lots of bodies in front. Poulin tees up a shot, it goes wide. Less than a minute to go. This is big time here for Montreal. Poulin through traffic again, that one wide. Stacy can't get her stick on it. And the net's empty here for Montreal. Davian out. LaRock. So it's six on five here in the Toronto zone as the time begins to wind down in regulation. A big three points on the line. If Toronto can get it, they clear it out. Poulin keeping it before the Montreal blue line. She knows she's got to speed up. She takes the far side. It's captain clutch time. Can she do it? She does! Their first three on three, but Ambrose with speed far side 
Is she gonna shoot or pass? She'll take the pass up to Venetia. In on the blue line, she's got Poulin right there. Plenty of space on the ice for the captain to work. The goal here for Poulin would make it three in this game. Now Nurse Laroc battling for it. Campbell watching behind her. Connors goes to meet it. Great battle there from Venetia and Laroc. Battling for that puck. Making sure that they're not giving up possession as possession is so important here in 3v3 overtime. And so there's a change. We've got Howard, Fast, and Turnbull on the line for Toronto. But it is a defensive zone draw for the visitors. Bette in the faceoff circle wins it for Montreal Taven. She's got Stacy with her. Stacy has been wanting a goal so badly. Trying to drive the action. She does it again in front, chips it off the glass this time. Taven. Far side. Turnbull with the pressure. Now fast. Trying to clear the zone here. It is three on three overtime. First minute down, just five minutes here. And now fast. Does she have room for Turnbull? She's looking for it, gets the shot. No, that one blocked. So now it's a big race. You've got Bette, you've got Renata fast. Laura Stacy, though, she keeps the puck. Turnbull, that's going to be a penalty. What an effort by the home team. What a great play by Anne-Sophie Bate. She's able to push that puck over to Laura Stacey. She knows she's getting taken down, but there's a penalty call here on Blair Turnbull. She's leading her team in penalty minutes at this point, but you got to take that penalty in 3v3 overtime. You can't give Laura Stacey the shot. That's the thing, right? A slashing call, and this is going to be tough. My goodness, Poulin supported by Murphy and Venetia, along with Ambrose. Ambrose takes it. He's going to use all kinds of patience. Poulin back to Ambrose. Teed up. She's got Murphy. Ambrose feeds to Poulin. They'll take their time. Venetia moves it up. Ambrose. And here they go. Murphy. Venetia looks for the pass. Poulin in the glove of Campbell. What a stop. Like it was going straight in, but Campbell gets her glove up. I think Montreal, the arena staff thought it was good too. They put the light on the goal there, but Campbell says, nope, not again, Poulin. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Poulin already with two goals in this game. She's got six on the season. She's back in the faceoff circle. Does it all, honestly. And now, near side fast. Looks to clear it. Toronto on a kill here in overtime. So now it's four on three. In the PWHL, three on three, five minute overtime. Ambrose, back to Poulin. She's got to get past Palte, Malte and fast does. Sends it around, she's got Ambrose. Will she take the shot or the pass? She'll battle for it. Now loose, Poulin meets it, far side. Up to Ambrose, Ambrose with space. Poulin shoots and into the body of Campbell. Campbell's got that one close into her chest. I'm sure she's feeling that shot from Hulin. You know, hulin has got quite the shot on her, quite the hard shot. <laughs> the pressure is on. I mean, this is a big overtime opportunity. The winner of an overtime game gets two points. The other team gets one. One minute exactly left in this four on three power play for Montreal. Neither team has been able to score on the power play in regulation. But we see Toronto doing a really good job on the penalty kill. Sarah Nurse, Renata Fast, The Rock, making sure their sticks are all connected. You want to be in that triangle, figure out who's forcing, and then come back to your position. Fast. Back to Nurse. I mean, they could get something going here shorthanded if they're able to free that puck with the pressure of Poulin. They've got Ambrose, too. Room around near side, they'll use the wall. Ambrose, she's got Murphy, she'll pass back to Ambrose. Will she take the shot? She looks for Poulin. Change of tempo. Venetia over to Ambrose. Murphy brings it in front, that one high! She was looking for the corner. And again, time winding down here with that four on three. As LaRock. 
makes good on clearing it for Toronto. Final 13 seconds of this power play. They've had two shots on goal so far. I mean, good ones at that, but Ambrose carrying over. She's got support. Down low, rims it around. O'Neal out there for Montreal, and just like that, Kristen O'Neill on that retrieval. She's got those quick first hard strikes super fast. We're at even strength here right now, so it's four on four at this point because of the release from the penalty box and no whistle. So Turnbull, she's going to try to get it away, uses the backboard, but time winding down here on this five minute overtime. Tied to three. Captain Turnbull, she's waiting for her first goal of her PWHL career. Could this be it? Now Flanagan. She'll come flying in near side. Will she take the shot? She does. Dapian turns it away. Now back behind the net. Toronto with pressure. They've got Malte. She keeps it in. Along the near wall, Comfer is there, but Dapian tries to scoop it out. Monroe just as fast. Final 45 seconds here in overtime. Stacy feeds it back to Laskova. Up to Stacy. Got to get by. 30 seconds here, Bette. They're back in the Toronto zone. They couldn't get it done despite having a power play in this overtime. Can Toronto do it? Monroe, she's got time, she's got space, but Lum in the way. She drives the action towards the net. Coffers there. She tries to shoot it. Bette trying to play this one. Smart. Off the wall, Boulin chasing it and fast. Final seconds. Are we going to go to a shootout? 8.2 seconds left in overtime. Miller's out there. So is LaRock and Spooner, of course, back to three on three. And the puck is loose. It's down deep. And we're going to make some history tonight. As this game heads to a shootout. Both goalies have to be locked and loaded for this shootout. If you let one in, you got to let it go and push on to the second one. So goalie mental strength here, and they're both locked in and ready to go. So because Montreal is the home team, they get to choose who starts the shootout. And they will take the first shot. You can feel, you can feel the energy in this building. The home crowd has been riding the highs and lows of every single moment. And why not? The captain, who better to start off? Taking the first shot. She'll take it from center. Go wide, trying to draw out Campbell. And what a save, Kristen Campbell. Great Stops save for Kulin. Kristen Campbell there. We know Poo's got one honor tonight, but at the same time, she's able to come across. She knows Poolin's coming across, wants to go forehand, and she gets her pad on that. Great save for Campbell. And now Maggie Connors, she was able to get her first PWHL goal. Can she get another on Debian? No, denied by Debian. It's a good move by Maggie Connors here. She goes, tries to go forehand and goes backhand, but Debian is able to stretch out, get her pad on that and her glove up. And now Poulin again. So this can happen, right? You can have the same chance. And that one stopped off the body of Kristen Campbell, absolutely dialed in. Oh, yes. And I mean, with the rules, you can go again. So we can see Poulin. But again, Kristen Campbell shutting that door. She knows she's got to be tough against Poulin. All right, the, the, the home crowd booing Natalie Spooner, but she wants to be the first to score in this shootout. Driving the action, bringing it in front, and no! And Renee Debian on the pad stops it. Debian has just been outstanding this game. She is on the way across the net. She's moving the opposite direction. Spooner tries to bring that back, and Debian's kicking out that left pad. So now Teresa Venisheva will drive the action, try to score that one off the glass. Oh, the tension's mounting here, Soroya. No one able to score yet. 
We see Venetia Vuk come. She's got an open blade, so I think Campbell knows that one's going high. And she just misses the net. So Hannah Miller got two goals in that last game. The crowd booing her. She might use that as fuel. She's going to bring it in close. She scores! Hannah Miller first to do it here in the shootout. There we go. Two goals last game. And she's able to get her third of her PWHL season here tonight. She picks that corner on Davian, and I'm sure Davian hopes she can have that one back. Ulan now with her third chance here. Neither time before this able to score, so now she'll try something near side. Moves it in and scores! That's what the crowd's been waiting for. So now each side has one pass, the netminders. And there we go, Ulan third time the charm. She knows she can't use those same two first moves on Campbell, so she chooses to go backhand. And we've seen this move a few times from Poulin. Sarah Nurse, the fourth player here for Toronto to try out a shot on Anne-Renée Desbiens. She gets in close. No way! And I'm sure Sarah Nurse wants this one back. It looks like she happened to lose the puck a little bit on the way. Kind of gets stuck. Check, but sprawls out and gets her legs out there. So Captain Clutch on her stick, they trust. They're gonna look to getting close, and that one, what a save by Campbell. Not too bad for Campbell there. One for four against Poulin in a shootout. I, I'd take that, that's for sure. And there it is again. The thud off the pad. Now Hannah Miller. She's going to try to make it two here. Can she do it? No! Anne-Renée Desbiens sprawling out for that save. We talk about it. Anne-Renée Desbiens has been solid this game. Definitely their go-to. Hannah Miller shooting again. She obviously scored her first one. But Davian is able to stretch out her pads. Each of these saves have been so great. Laura Stacy, her first test at it. She's going to come in quick, and it's stopped. It is absolutely stopped. Kristen Campbell. Laura Stacy there trying to use her speed to her advantage. Change the speed in, on the shootout. It's definitely something you want to do. She tries to go five hole. All right, Lorian Rougeau, she could do it here for Toronto. She's just got to come in, can she? She does! Toronto makes history, winning the first ever PWHL game in a shootout, a game they need. 